Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and welcome back to another video. I have a piece of solar, uh, Nina Solar White cardstock and a piece of Stampin' Up's Smoky Slate cardstock that I did some die cutting using my Cricut. I did um, do a little video on how I set this up on my Cricut Explorer, which you can find here on my YouTube channel and I'll link it below in the YouTube description so you can see how I did that. And I also cut out a little snowflake that kind of matches. So I'm going to start off with doing some stamping for my little scene that I'm creating here. I am using the Lawn Fawns Snow Day stamp set. There are three adorable little bunny rabbits in this stamp set, and I am stamping out all three of them using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm going to be doing some Copa coloring, so that's why I decided to use that ink. And I have uh, stamped those all out on my Nino Solar White cardstock. And then I'm going to go ahead and start doing some Copic coloring. Now I decided to try a little something different. You guys tell me what you think. I um, added a little corner up in the top. I, I filmed this at a different angle. I filmed not only just straight down, but it seems like when I Copic color, my hands always get in the way. And you guys sometimes can't see what I'm doing. So I decided to try a different angle. In the future, I will try to zoom in a little bit closer or try a different angle. But let me know what you guys think about this. So let me get back to what I'm doing here. I am copic coloring using R20, W1, W3, and 0, which is the blender pen. I'm using the R20 for the bunny rabbit's ears and cheeks. And then I used RW to create a little shading around the outside of my bunny rabbit, more so, so on one side than on the other. And that is my lighter color. And then I'm going in with my darker color, which is W3. and adding more sh shading to that, a little bit of uh, darker shadow. And I'm once I have that laid down, I take my W1, which is my lighter color, and blend that all together. And once I have that done, I'm going to take my W or my zero pen, my blender pen, and kind of blend all those together. It gives it a little bit of texture so it doesn't look like it's a flat bunny rabbit. It kind of gives a little look of, of fur, and I'm doing it in circles so it kind of it, the blending seems to give it more of that, um, that look. And then once I have that all done, I'm going to go ahead and die cut these using the coordinating dies. Now, I like how this came out. I like the W3 to give it just around the, or the W1 and 3 to give that more of a, not a dark uh, look, but it, I really like the, it's kind of like a khaki kind of look. So anyway, I am going to do, go ahead and die cut these using the coordinating dies to the Snow Day die or stamp set and I just love this stamp set and I love the dies and uh, there's so many different pieces to this uh, stamp set uh, as far as the dies are concerned. So I die cut the little bunny rabbits you can see them there in the corner and then I also took my mama elephant stitched um, lawn uh, landscape trio dies and die cut some little snow mounds. For my sentiment I'm using you warm my heart which comes from that same stamp set and I stamped that out using the Ranger Archival ink, and I did that in the jet black. And I really, that's one of my favorite colors for stamping sentiments. I just like how crisp and dark uh, that black is. I wanted to give a little bit more background to this. Um, I didn't want to leave just the white so plain, so I took the three little snowflakes that come in that Lawn Fawn stamp set, and I'm stamping out with the smoky slate that coordinates with the cardstock I'm going to be using in a little bit, and just created a little bit of a background um, for my layer piece here. And then I took the um, smallest dot, which is one of the ones I used for my background, and the first part I stamped off and kind of gave a softer look. For this part, I'm going right from the ink pad right to the cardstock. I'm going to take my Smoky Slate cardstock now, and I'm going to create a little bit of a... Um, I'm going to offset my white piece, my Nina's cardstock, with the Smoky Slate just to kind of give a nice little shaded part to or a little um, drop background to that snowflake. So I just adhere that down using my Tombow Mono Adhesive. And then I'm going to die cut this one more time, or I'm going to cut this one more time just to make sure it's the same size as my car in front, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my little snow mounds. Like I said, this is done with the Mama Elephants Landscape Trio. It's got the great little stitched edge. And I'm totally obsessed now with stitched edging on my stamp, my die cuts. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that one piece and hair it down. Again, I did this with the uh, also with the Nina cardstock. And then I'm going to adhere my next layer. I'm trying to keep my adhesive down towards the bottom because I am going to 
lay my little bunny rabbits out onto this and I want to tuck them behind a little snow mounds. So I kind of made sure that they were down towards the bottom and I'm just going to trim this again. So we're still at four and a quarter by five and a half. And then once I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and start really putting this together. I have my three little bunny rabbits. I'm going to tuck two of them behind the snow banks. And then my third one, I thought about tucking that one behind the snow banks, but then I decided it looked better and more balanced if I put it down towards the bottom. So once I've kind of decided where I was going to put those, I went ahead and added some adhesive to the back and adhered those down. My last thing I want to adhere to the front of my card is my snowflake that I cut out using my Cricut Explorer. And I just adhere this down with some Tombow Mono and I'm going to add a little glitter to this in a little while. So, but for now we're just going to go ahead and adhere it down. For my pattern paper that comes from the Simple Stories DIY and I don't remember the name of the paper pad, but I just took a very um, wood grain grayish wood grain piece and cut that down to be a quarter of an inch smaller than my cardstock and here that right down to my card base and then I'll go ahead and add some dimensionals to the back of my panel and adhere that right down so that snowflake really pops now that die cut piece really pops off the card. I'm going to add some Winka Stella this is the clear Winka Stella pen which I'm going to I need to uh, get a new one because this one's starting to run out but I just like the subtle shimmer this gives to the snowflake so it has a little bit of a glisten and shine to it and then I decided to also run that right along the little hills of my card so it gave that little stitched area a little bit of shimmer makes it have that like that glow that sparkle of the sun when it uh, glistens on the snow. So once I have that done, I took a metal button from Stampin' Up, added a little bit of white linen thread to that, and then adhered that with the glue dot right to the center of that snowflake. So it gave that little extra um, something to the center of that snowflake and finished off my card. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, a list of supplies are down below in the YouTube description and over on my blog. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, and like today's video. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.